I think cars have feelings? Or memory? Or soul? I don't know. But I hope so. Cause that one killed my 240Z. And payback's a bitch. So you guys have probably figured out by now that we're, uh, we're definitely killing the Mercedes. We're doing a movie build. Well, it's kind of a movie build. It's a music video build. This is a, a clone or a build or a theme build after the car from the uh, Jay-Z and Kanye music video called Otis. If you go check it out, I'll put a link in the description. Ever since I saw that music video, I was like, we have to build one of these cars. Now I spent a little bit too much money to get the base Mercedes. I was expecting to spend like a thousand bucks, but I really like this one. So it's, it's what we're doing. So uh, now that we filmed that montage, I'm gonna step you back a little bit to earlier in the day and uh, kind of walk you through like kind of what we did to get there and stuff like that. <laughs> the car is fresh and unkilled, uh, but by the time you have seen this, you've already seen that it's it's dead now. So anyways, no going back. Um, Eric and I, before we cut the roof off of this car, uh, Eric and I want to go ahead and remove the headliner out of here. I think it'll just make it a little bit easier for that reciprocating saw blade to go through here. So we're going to pull the headliner out, um, not very gently, because we really got to get, we got to get moving here. So we're going to rip the headliner out and prepare for cutting. Here's what the roof of a CLS 550 looks like. It's a whole lot of side curtain airbags going on. And uh, looks pretty good though. Good for the cutting. It's really ready to be cut. Uh, next thing Eric and I are gonna pop all the side curtain air. Whoa, that's kind of cool. Shoot, shoot. Eric and I are gonna pull all the side curtain airbag off and uh, these little things too, cause they're gonna be real hard to cut through. And, uh, and then we should be ready. This has got a great, cut line essentially built into the car. It was made to do this, we're sure of it. Well, this is kind of weird. I'm not used to filming like everything twice, but the headliner is removed, uh, the airbag, everything is all out and it's ready to be cut. So then I've created a cut line right here. This is not my first rodeo with cutting the roof off the car. If you guys want to see how I did that on a BMW, check out our amphibious BMW series. It's in a playlist somewhere on this channel. Anywho, uh, so that's my cut line right here. I'm going to cut on the inside of the tape right here, all the way across. And then we also need to do that side right there. So uh, there's nothing left to say now. I just, just got to do it.
I really should have wore ear protection for that. So I'm pretty much deaf now, but we've got a nice cut all the way across. A little bit of wobbles right through here. What I'll do is I'll clean all of that up with the uh, flap disc and then we're gonna put a, we're gonna put like a, some molding around there or something so we don't cut our hands on it as well. Next thing I gotta do is I'm gonna go ahead and make this cut right here. This part of the um, roof arch line, all that stuff, that's gonna go. And then the next thing is we're gonna cut through here. But that's right when the whole roof is gonna give out. I think it's gonna break this back window, so we may have to break the back window first. But first things first, I'm gonna take care of this. And to do that though, it's also gonna cut out a piece of the roof, so I'm gonna go grab the jack and support the car from underneath, right about here. That way it doesn't bend down and collapse on itself. So we supported this from the bottom, went ahead and made this cut. Now I wanted this angle right here following the tape, but the, the saw just really couldn't get in there. So what I did was I cut right here. Then once we cut the rest of that off, the roof will be off and gone, open air. And then I can go ahead and cut once again through there and get that spot done. So now the roof is like real flexy. If you look, I can do that. And if I were to go ahead and do the rest of this cutting along here, what would happen is the roof would want to cave in. It would take the glass with it and break the glass. Now. We could do the right way and properly remove this rear window, but instead, I'm gonna have some fun with it. I don't know why I'm acting like it's some sort of teaser to you guys. You've already seen that we're gonna shoot it out. That we're gonna shoot it out. What we're using to shoot it out though is just a high powered pellet gun. This is something I bought when I was bored and um, yeah, it, it'll work. It'll just shoot a nice little hole through there. And then I have a feeling that the glass isn't gonna really go anywhere, but it might, if it, if it does what I want it to do and it looks really cool, it'll all just kind of crumble and fall in, but it'll probably just immediately like turn into a bunch of little squares because I believe it's safety glass and not go anywhere. In which case I'll just have to, you know, knock it down. This should be fun. We haven't broken any glass on Beans for Build on purpose. Well, the window's gone. It didn't all fall in like I wanted it to because it's got some aftermarket tinting on here, which kind of held it all together. I was really hoping it would just all kind of disintegrate out the middle, but hey, it worked. And now I have a fun chore to do for the rest of my life, vacuuming out uh, uh, glass. I actually did this on purpose because it's gonna be a lot easier to remove. Well, I'll just use a hammer, tap all that glass out of there. We'll shop back it out and then I'll run a razor blade in on the inside and the razor blade around and then that should uh, help me cut it out cut the uh, the rest of the glass stuff out should make it faster I believe but now I'm ready to go whoop. now I'm ready to go ahead and cut the rest of the roof line and then should be time to remove the roof do you guys just hear that that was the sound effect of street racing and cops going after them that's funny anyways uh, yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and grab that reciprocating saw zip down that line and that line and then we should be able to remove the roof If I had a dollar for every piece of glass that's in my shoe, I would have almost enough money to pay for this car. Would you look at that? There's dents, there's dents right here in the roof and right here. It's no good, we're gonna have to cut it off. We are officially roofless. Looks fantastic. I love it. It's really, this car has a great interior. We wanted to showcase that. We thought no better way than to open it up to the sky. It looks good like this. So um, the trunk is toast. It's always been toast. It, it's like just destroyed over here. So uh, we decided we we're gonna remove it. One of the next steps is, is Eric's gonna hold it up. I'm gonna cut out the supports for it. We're gonna get rid of it because we got some plans for back here. Before we do that, Eric wants to see if this door will shut. He's a little skeptical. Perfect, perfect. Dude, that's mint. Yeah, we didn't lose any structural rigidity. Not that we need that door anyways, but. All right, let's remove this trunk lid.
first ever convertible CLS 550. Maybe. I don't know if Mercedes made one from factory. This is looking good. This is looking real good. Uh, trunk looks great without the, the trunk. We got some we got some plans for back here. It's gonna it'll it'll clean it up, make it look a little bit crazier, a little bit better. Um, next thing I want to do is we need to remove the doors. We're gonna be using the rear doors for our rear wings. If you've seen the music video, you know kind of how they go. Um, and then the front doors, we're not gonna be using these. I want to keep these in decent condition in case anybody needs them. You know they can they can buy them. One thing I want to try and keep though are the controls for the seats. These are some fancy seats, just like the BMW. Heated, cooled, a gajillion different ways to move them around and memories and stuff like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and try and pop that through the back and maybe see if I can't mount it in there or just leave it down there. So uh, yeah, I'm also going to uh, finish our cuts with the reciprocating saw. I'm gonna come in through here, clean these two things up. This car is gonna be quite the head turner. As it is right now though, I could definitely see it needs it needs that wide body. I don't know why it's, it's riding so high. It's got some active air suspension stuff, but also I jacked it up and down a couple times. So, I don't know, maybe that's why it's riding high. But adding on the wide body that we're gonna do and the bigger wheels and like the side skirts and the fender flares, it's gonna, the rear wings, it's gonna, it's really gonna set it off. I, <laughs> it looks like crap right now, I could see that but it's gonna look, it's gonna look really good. I'm really, really excited about all this. Gambling car. With <laughs> luxury. Wow, whirlwind day, lots of work. I had so much fun working on that car. So let me just address right off the top. A lot of you guys are probably like, you just ruined a perfectly good car, et cetera, et cetera. To you, Maybe, if this was your car, I would not show up to your house and do this to your only car. But for me, just just know that I have a different relationship with cars than most of you guys do. Um, screwing with them is part of my job. I feel like I have the best job in the world. And this is what the gambler spirit is all about. You take an automobile and you just have maximum, maximum fun with it, with like zero regrets. And that is exactly what I'm doing with this car. It looks a little rough right now, I'm not gonna lie. It needs to be cleaned up, it needs glass removal, lots of it, uh, and, and you know, we need to, I think I'm gonna get rid of all the white stuff in the interior, and uh, so it's just black in that in that dark, um, dark red color. But, um, but yeah, so to just address those people out there saying you just run a perfectly good car, like I just keep in mind, I have like 11 cars. I don't want another car that's just a one of several hundred black random four-door Mercedes that are out there. I want a one of one. And I've wanted to do this build inspired by that music video for so long. That car that was made in that music video is gone now. It's been junked. Um, it was sold at auction. It was originally about a, uh, it was $120,000 or more to buy. Then after they modified it, they auctioned it and it sold for 60,000 bucks for parts. As far as I know, it was just parted out. So uh, I really wanna take this car and, and rebuild it and have it and do fun stuff with it. So um, <laughs> clearly I can't sell it because it ain't gonna be worth nothing except to me, it's gonna be really cool. I, I don't have the Apocalypse G35 anymore. I want another really cool kind of crazy head turner car. And that's exactly what this is. Gambler spirit, gambling car, fun times, and I'm having a blast doing it. And I'm like really excited to go work on it tomorrow. So that's the spirit of it. That's the whole thing. I don't wanna to ramble too much. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked the montage in the beginning. I actually worked really hard on that. So, oh, and so now we're doing two episodes. We're gonna try and keep doing two episodes a day, but I'm not gonna just do an episode full of filler. And I'm not, I'm not gonna stretch them to try and hit 10 minutes either. That's some dumb YouTube stuff that I wish they didn't have. So if these come out short, they come out short, but I wanna give you guys daily updates if we can. So uh, Eric and I were very hard on the Corvette all day. Uh, Eric did, I did not. Um, and some cool stuff happened. So I will drop that episode one hour after I drop this episode. So whatever time zone you're in, whatever, it's 2 p.m. in Pacific time that we're gonna drop this episode. In one hour, the next episode drops. I just wanna give you enough time to make sure that you watch this one. Okay, okay. So uh, that's about it, guys. The the outro spiel is bsforbuild.com if you wanna get some merch. We're working on new merch, it'll drop soon. And uh, follow us on Instagram, bsforbuild on Instagram, bsforbuild on Twitch, all that good stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace!